I'm thinking that you may want an inside look at how I would practice my surf. And I'm actually gonna go out today and I'm just gonna work on my surf. And I'm gonna talk you through some of the things that I'm thinking about, some of the things I'm focusing on. And I'm recording this after a long day of work. I've been sitting on my butt behind the computer and I wanted to come out and get some exercise. I wanna work on my serve. I wanna keep my arm loose. So I'm just gonna take you through some of the concepts and just give you some ideas. So I got a little band here that I'm working on my range of motion a little bit here and a little bit of strength. See how I'm rotating my arm here, all different directions. And I really like to do it where I get my arms overhead. I stretch a little bit, so I'm trying to get my lat, so I'm, I'm engaging, doing a couple circles. So I really just go try to find the tight spots. Okay, just find the tight spots. I've spent so many years working on my serve alone. And this has just been a, almost like a meditative experience for me. I got another band here. And, you know, I'm 46 years old. I'm not a spring chicken. I'm not getting any younger. But I really want to keep my body limber and loose as long as I'm living, <laughs> right? I feel like the moment that you get too tight, you're, you're literally, you're starting... You're, you're starting the slowing down or the aging or the dying process. I want to keep living. So it's important to keep that flexibility. Got a little wind prop coming up here. So what I want to do is I'm not going to warm up too much uh, because it's starting to get windy and I want to start hitting some serves. So when I start warming up, I think the first thing that I want you to pay attention to is that my grip is definitely more extreme, okay? Most of you are, are more towards the forehand. So, so if you can see my grip, I, I'm moving it in such a way that it's the racket face is open. If you picture Djokovic serving, his racket face is open when he starts. I see so many people in this position here. So that's a big thing is for you to try to get this grip get this grip down, move the camera, so get a little bit closer, get a little bit closer, it was too far away from me, I want to be closer to you, so I like to warm up, my hair is getting long too, I need a haircut, I like to warm up, <sighs> ha, hit a cone on the first shot, it's funny, I also, I always put targets down, when I'm working on my serve, making sure that I have that extreme grip. So if you don't have an extreme continental grip, definitely would consider it. Really helps you get feel. Now what I'm actually working on is my stance these days. I'm playing around with being more turned. Okay, so having this foot turned out more, a la Sampras. So instead of in this, instead of in this position where I'm pointed more like this, I'm really turned. And you can only do that if you, you have the, the flexibility the coil, the ability to do it. So I'm not suggesting you go out tomorrow and do this, but I, I want to give you some insight on to what I'm working on. So you can see this foot's really turned out. I should have worn a hat today. <clears throat> Must be the cameras are getting me to, to uh, show up today. I just nailed the line here. But it's pretty amazing couple things when the camera is on I, I, I guess I focus a little more but also it's amazing how much your serve can improve if you have the right grip and if you have the right stance and you have the right technique I know it looks effortless but this took me years to, to perfect and I'm trying to give you the shortcuts I want to give you the shortcuts and even if the serve hits the tape I'm okay with that I felt good off the racket thing that I'm being aware of right now is 
number one, if I miss a serve, I don't, I don't freak out. A lot of players get bent out of shape when they miss a lot of serves. That serve went long. There's no, no big deal. I'm just going to get on top of it a little more. But it's important to get aware, be aware of your body and aware of your hand. Hit another tape there. I mean, sorry, not a tape, another line. And again, I think this grip really helps. Gives me a lot of feel. Yeah, this is feeling good today. So this grip, not having it towards the forehand, I see a lot of you with the forehand grip still. You gotta get this grip over towards backhand and learn how to hit up and over the ball. That was probably the first one that didn't feel as good as the others. But it's, it's just like, hey, I just got to time it a little better next time. It's okay. That one wasn't quite right either. But I like that I fluctuate between net, long, net, long. So, so I'm finding my range. Oh yeah, that one felt good. Definitely should have worn a hat today. I definitely need a haircut. Don't serve when the serve's blown in your, blown in your eyes. So one thing I wanna point out with my tossing hand, I'm gonna start focusing on this now. I have a tendency to toss the ball and have my hand kind of stop here. So it doesn't go completely straight. So in this series, I'm gonna work on getting it so it really extends like this. Really exaggerating that feeling. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that felt good. I felt, I felt taller. Again, I really, once I got to here, tried to feel this more instead of just releasing and going. Sometimes when I do this, I rush the serve when I go, when I go to hit from this position. So if I go and I spin a little bit, it allows the toss to get up a little bit more. Same with that one. I was able to get that one. Now, the other thing I look at is when the ball bounces, sometimes it has to do with a court, but I like to see the ball jump. If it doesn't jump, that means I didn't quite get it the way I wanted. So, see if I can get this ball to bounce. That was probably my worst serve of the day in terms of aim. That one went about 20 feet long, almost hit the baseline. So i got to recalibrate, no big deal. There we go. So what's interesting is, again, I missed by 20 feet on the one before. Let me talk for a minute. I missed for 20, by 20 feet on the one before, and then the next one was amazing. So. It's not like you have to miss a bunch of serves before you find it. You have to be open to finding it on the next serve and not get bent out of shape if you, if you miss a serve by a lot. Okay, still with the tossing arm here. I didn't feel like I exploded up as well as I could have. I'm gonna try to explode a little more here. <clears throat> that felt better. I caught it a little bit at the top of the racket. Felt almost a vibration through my arm. So I'm gonna see if I can get it more on the sweet spot here. <clears throat> more on the sweet spot, but I didn't get the ball to, to drop. So I'm feeling like that grip is great, but I'm gonna actually move it back to more continental so I hit a flatter serve. Then when I wanna hit a second serve, I'm gonna move it back. So I'm gonna hit a couple flat serves with a slightly adjusted grip. And when I say adjusted, I'm basically moving the heel of the hand so it's more on top instead of towards the backhand. So it's more on top. <clears throat> That felt pretty good, but the ball didn't jump. See if I can find that jump. 
felt pretty good. It's hard to focus on three things at one time. So if I were you, I would practice focusing on one thing at a time. Like that last serve, I didn't focus as much as the, on the tossing arm and I tried to get it to jump and then I got away from the tossing arm. So I'm gonna go back to the tossing arm here. <clears throat> that felt amazing. And so notice again how I, I gave myself that reinforcement. That felt amazing. I'm gonna do that again. Remember, I have the, I have the first serve grip now, extending the tossing arm. <clears throat> felt pretty good. Now, I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna switch to second serves now. And one of the things that I'm working on now, which I, I wish I would have done this more on the tour, but I teach it now to all of you, is I like focusing on this side of the body right here. So if you watch Steve Johnson on the tour, Boris Becker, Edberg, they finish on this side of the body. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna move my grip back towards that backhand grip. <clears throat> so you know where I finished, see where I finished. Now I'm lucky I'm able to decelerate without shoulder pain. So if you try this, you know, and you feel something, don't do it. I'll show you an adjustment in a minute, but watch where I finish again. Look at my back foot, turned out. <clears throat> okay, that one almost bounced halfway up the fence. So I focused on my foot, on my turn. And then when I went to hit the serve, this is a thing that I'm really working on right now, is when I went to hit the serve, the feeling that I have is that I side bend like this and hit the serve, okay? A lot of players, when they serve, instead of side bending to hit it, they actually rotate and face the net. That's why the turn at the beginning and then when you make contact, if you can feel the side bend like this instead of the rotation, that's what I think helps make the ball jump. It doesn't work all the time where the ball jumps, but getting the right technique and the right body awareness makes all the difference. Let me try that again. So this foot's turned out. I got my backhand grip. <clears throat> that one still jumped pretty well as well. Feels pretty good. One of the biggest problems I had on the tour is I would over rotate. So when I got tight, I would toss, spin this tossing arm and face the net. So now I'm really working on being more sideways and side bending into the court so I don't turn when I hit the ball. <clears throat> Felt good too. Again, notice my finish every time. I'm exaggerating finishing to the left as a lefty. <clears throat> wow, something's happening today. Those are some of the best second serves I've probably ever hit. I think if I would have hit that second serve more consistently, I would have spent more time inside the top 100 instead of a cup of coffee. <clears throat> it's pretty nice. I like it. It's a good feel. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move over to the ad court and really going to work on my T second serve right off the bat. This is what I've been working on. I can hit the serve really well out to the backhand uh, for a righty's backhand, but I want to work on my big turn here and my lean, right? And leaning in. Remember that lean I was talking about? That was a dead ball. We won't count that. It was also a wayward toss. Sometimes my toss drifts out this direction. So I'm going to pay attention to that a little bit more here. <clears throat> Good. I'll take that second serve. Again, notice where I'm finishing. Now, if you're not confident to finish on that side, what I would do is I would swing and then come to the belly button. So what I'll do is I'm going to go to the belly button here and then I'll just turn and show you. <clears throat> I forgot to go to the belly button. I'll go this time. <clears throat> so that's where I went. So it's that circular swing path. Okay. I'm super fortunate that I used to have a serve that was okay when I was 19 and then I transformed it 
by studying the pros. I'm learning now. I'm doing things different now than I ever have because I'm, I'm putting it together even more. I'm refining it more so that I can teach you better. <clears throat> See, I went to the belly button. Not as much kick on that one. I got to get more side bend. <clears throat> So I still feel like when I go to the belly button, I don't get as much kick. <clears throat> kind of goes through the cord a little bit more. Let me go back to finishing on the left side. <clears throat> Didn't get over it enough. Get over it. <clears throat> there we go. So I like it when, when I serve and the ball lands short in the court. That means I got the right amount of topspin on the serve. I think this guy might, I think he wants a free lesson. Do you think I should give him a free lesson? I think he's eavesdropping on our serve lesson here. What do you think I should do? Okay, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna switch my grip back to more continental for first serve. Bombs, bombs away down the tee. Wow, that felt good. I missed it wide, but that felt good. Didn't quite hit it in the center of the string, so I'm gonna see if I can get it center this time. Whew. Felt good, maybe a little bit off the top, but not much. I, I'm splitting hairs right now, especially my hairs up here. I need a haircut, jeez. All right, Let's see if I can make a better sound. Continental grip, big turn right here. Wow, there's some heat on that serve. It helps to serve at high altitude Denver. Another one. Good sound off the racket. It's about, what, five feet up the fence. Hello. Just your average day at the elementary school parks. These guys over here getting to play, they're probably like, okay, who, who's this, who's the dead ringer that's serving a buck 25? Now I haven't been serving a lot, so my, my arm is actually starting to feel a little sore. So I'm probably gonna wrap it up in a bit here, but um, I'm going to hit some wide serves and I'm not going to focus as much on slice because you'll notice that I'm again my turn but I'm definitely going for the corner and I've got my targets down. I only hit one target the whole time. That was the very first serve of the day. Anyway, I'm probably focusing more on my technique and, the, and how it feels off the racket than the actual target. I've got the general vicinity but I could probably hone in on my targets a little more. But still, I'm working on my technique here. Big turn. I tried a little bit of side bin there and it, and it didn't feel great. I feel like maybe I pulled down a little early. Again, I'm trying to work on my serve where I hit it and I'm not opening up to create the slice. So let me see if I can get it here. And you're gonna see right now, like it's not gonna be a true slider. I'm going more power to the corner. If I wanted more slice, I would do that, right? But I'm trying to work a little bit more on some topspin slice and some, to be really turned here. So that time I intentionally tried to slice. Not quite what I wanted there. Probably that one felt the best. It was a, it's a straighter serve. It's not truly tailing away. So, you know, keep that in mind. But what I find interesting, what I find interesting is that the serve is the most important shot in tennis, and yet so many people struggle with it. And I know we're losing some light here, but since we're doing this on the fly, I think you'll you'll understand. But why, why don't we spend more time on trying to figure out our serve and really work on the drills that can help? I'd love for you to check out the drills that I have 
the tennis evolution, I think they can help you. I think I, we've gotten so many incredible case studies and testimonials. That didn't feel great. I don't have cl complete clarity yet on what I want to do on the wide slice. Okay, that one was sweet. It's funny how I hit one serve that didn't feel good and then the next one felt amazing. Now again, that one went right in the corner and it jumped. It didn't necessarily slide. So if you're gonna leave a comment and say, hey, your serve's not slicing, know that I'm not really working on that. I'm working on more of that heavy serve, the one that jumps up. Now that one was sweet. Now it was about eight feet off where I wanted it to go in terms of target, but it landed short and it jumped like incredible. It was, it was awesome, I loved it. This ball feels a little dead, but we're gonna try it anyway. So, see if I can find that cone here. <clears throat> Ooh, I think I'm, I locked into my target that time. Here we go. <clears throat> Ooh, almost. That one didn't feel as heavy off the racket, but it felt like a little more slice. Yeah, absolutely. I think I might be hitting too many serves over there. Oh well. Here we go. Big turn here. Oh, are you trying to hit me? You trying to hit me? No? That's all right. We're having fun with this. Okay. Real life, big serve here, big wide serve, okay? Big serve coming. Off the top of the racket, come on. Still off the top of the racket. These would be good serves, like people would struggle with these serves, but they're not as accurate, they're not, they're not sliding as much as I want, and they're not in the middle of the strings yet. They're, 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 they're off the top still. So it might look like it's popping, but I, I'm, a, I'm a perfectionist when it comes to the serve. I wanna get this ball to land a little bit different, or land, hit the strings a little bit different. That was, that was on it. So now I just gotta locate it. That was on it with the strings. That wasn't quite on it. So it's interesting, my best serves are the ones that are not the wide slice when I have this technique where I really turn. That was one reason why when I played, sometimes I would point a little bit on this side so that I could get the slice. But I'm really, like I said, I'm working on my turn and seeing if I can find some slice from this position. <laughs> See, that was awesome too. So my, my best serves today when I go wide have landed about three feet wide. So what I gotta figure out is how to hit those same serves and bring it in and then, and then it could be amazing. So I gotta lock into that, like what's, what's gonna create that? Let's see if I can find it here. What I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna aim to the left of the cone and see what happens. Yeah, so I aimed a little left to the cone and then the line was better. Okay. I'll come a little closer to the tee. Oh gosh, see that was amazing. My best serves are four feet wide right now, but they're sliding and they're heavy. So I gotta stay with this. In times when I played matches, when I would miss serves like this, cause you know, you need to make the serve in competition, then I would change my technique a little bit or my toss. Right now I'm not trying to change my technique or my toss. I'm trying to find it, um, find that rhythm. A la Pete Sampras where you can hit it from any toss. There it is. Best one of the day. I hit the spot. I hit the line, it slid, 
This felt amazing. If I can do it once, I can do it twice. If you can do it once, you can do it twice. If you can do it twice, you can do it three times. You gotta stay with it. Stay with it. Here we go. Not a true slider again. A lot of people talk about hitting that bendy 96 mile an hour. I'm not hitting that right now. I'm hitting 110 out wide, maybe, maybe faster. I'm going with power. I'm going with disguise and I'm going with power. Oh man, that felt great. That had top spin. I felt that I felt the turn at the beginning. I really was into it that time. Yep, I felt the turn again. Not didn't time the serve as well, but I felt the turn. Now, what I'm going to do to finish up today is I'm going to go wide T wide T with the same toss for a couple. So I like I like variety. I like to mix things up. I like to go by feel. That's what you can do too. Felt good. Probably could have timed it better or gotten on time on top of it more. I'm gonna go T again. Oh, that one did not feel good. <laughs> Something was off with the rhythm there. Might have been the toss. Maybe the side bend. I'm gonna try this again. Lost my rhythm there in those two. Here we go. Okay. So that one, I, I tweaked my grip. I moved it a little more towards Continental because I was, I was a little bit over here. Um, I didn't quite hit my spot. So I'm gonna try to stay turned longer. There it is. So that time I, 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 felt, I felt this instead of this. Very subtle, very slight. Now I know I said I was gonna go every other one, but I felt like I needed to get that T serve. Let me go wide here. Okay, second cone of the day. Second serve here to finish. Totally, totally tried to feel this instead of this. So I would say through that serving exercise, I'm my serves a little, my arms a little sore. Um, I'm going to take a break at least tomorrow because I've served two days in a row and I haven't been serving. But I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, leave me a comment or a question below. If there's anything I can do to help you with your serve and with your game, you know where to find me. You click the link below or somewhere in this video. We'll get you hooked up with free content, content that's gonna help you, that's gonna help your serve and the rest of your game. All right, it's Jeff Salzenstein coming to you from the public parks outside of Denver, Colorado. You don't need a country club. You don't need a coach. You just need the right information, some passion, a little bit of self-awareness. You get out there and you do your thing, all right? I'm pulling for you. We'll see you at the next video. <laughs>